Welcome back to my channel today, we have to get into some of these TikToks views about Beyonce endorsing Kamala Harris and showing up with Kelly Rowland looking like Steve Harvey and They got Beyonce and Beyonce, you know, Beyonce, Blah. They got Beyonce. So Beyonce went up, spoke for a couple of minutes and then left and the place went crazy, booed the hell out of everybody. It's town. They thought she was going to perform. Now, I would have no interest in that. And what happened is my opponent got up and started speaking. They booed the hell out of her. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big, loud Texas welcome to the next president of the United States, Vice President Kamala Harris. And to all the elected officials and community leaders, I thank you all. I thank you. expecting a full-blown Beyonce concert, but when that didn't happen, Harris was booed on stage. <laughs> for Kamala Harris last night with Beyonce as the headliner and let me tell you the drama started when Beyonce left the stage. So Kamala's rally was all set to be the event and they put out Beyonce to pack the crowds. Oh people were hyped but not for Kamala. The second Queen Bee dropped that mic people were practically sprinting for the exits. Like the fastest cardio they've done in months. By the time Kamala got to the mic half the seats were empty and here's the kicker half the crowd started chanting Donald Trump Donald Trump Donald Trump. Now that's a plot twist she didn't see coming. to hate on me sit back there and say my hair ain't luxurious when you know it is bitch make our own decision this rally and they're all excited about beyonce coming out and then look it's really nelson it's freaking willie nelson okay they just kind of snuck that in there yeah beyonce joins but that's willie freaking nelson people um priorities please Maybe I'm just old, but like, that seems to be more important, but whatever. No shade on Beyonce. Guys, happy Thursday. So I see it going um, on my news thread that Beyonce is um, coming to Kamala's rally. I don't give a goddamn. She could have been coming to the damn White House, flying to goddamn Mars. I don't give a damn. Beyonce, stay in your lane, do what you do. I know she has her fan base, and I know y'all cuckoo, y'all goo goo gaga over goddamn Beyonce, but I'm starting to think these people that's in this P. Diddy lineup and in this, um, what you call the man, the other man that was doing the things, Jeffrey Epstein, whatever, I think they are all rallying behind Kamala for protection. For protection. Um, to even see Usher down there in Georgia rallying for fucking um, Kamala. Usher, we got, we got, we wouldn't care who the goddamn president is. We still got questions for you. How did you escape Diddy Playhouse? And how did you put, how did, what, what was the agreement when you left Just, Justin Bieber there? Guys, these celebrities are not gods. These celebrities do not live the life that we live. These celebrities don't have to deal with what we got to deal with. The, these people live on a totally different realm and a totally, they, they, they don't live like us. They not like us. Okay. They got their own little crew up there where they doing their own little thing. Cause they not on our levels. 
So don't get that misconstrued. Don't think, oh, because Beyonce, now y'all want to go rally up and vote for Kamala. I know. I know. They, they Listen, you can love her music. There's nothing wrong with love her music. If you love Beyonce, you're a fan of Beyonce. But do not let Beyonce have a say-so on what you and who you decide to vote for. She has, no, she has nothing to do with that. Hey, I don't care if you're at the rally of Camilla. I don't give flying fluck if you were freedom, freedom, love. I don't give a flying fluck. You and Kelly out there supporting a black woman like a black woman should be supported. But one thing about it and two things for sure, she still can't answer questions. She still don't even know her damn policies. And then for sure she said, I would not change anything Joe Biden has done in the last four years. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Bitch, right there you can never save her, Beyonce. Unfortunately, it's a dismiss and try again, bitch. Y'all need to vote for Kamala like I did two days ago. Kicking off the campaign's final week with a massive rally overnight at New York's Madison Square Garden. The rally took a dark and divisive tone long before Trump himself took the stage. Comedian Tony Hinchcliffe, the opening speaker, cracking a racist joke about Latinos. So vulgar, it's mostly unairable. These Latinos, they love making babies too. Just know that. They do. They do. There's no... They don't do that. They just like they did to our country. Then pivoting to Puerto Rico. There's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah. I think it's called Puerto Rico. That joke, not just offensive, but potentially politically unwise, too, with large populations of Puerto Rican voters spread out across the swing states, including more than 400,000 in Pennsylvania alone. The Trump campaign responding to the comedian's set, which included other racist attacks, saying, this joke does not reflect the views of President Trump or the campaign. Other speakers continued the attacks, many targeting Harris. Her and her pimp handlers will destroy our country. She is the Antichrist, the first Samoan Malaysian low IQ former California prosecutor ever to be elected president. It needs to be a landslide. We need to slaughter this other people. And Trump delivered his closing message. Everyone will prosper. Every family will thrive. I'm sounding a little too harsh in these last days into the election, but excuse me for not having tolerance for people who let's say in this particular situation, are surprised that the keynote speaker at Trump's New York rally started his conversation with, Puerto Rico is literally an island of garbage. I don't have tolerance for this idiot, but I have less for the people who are Latino or Latina and still voting for Trump. Don't you get it? They would sooner send you back anywhere. And it's, it's the self-haters that I can't deal with, that I just don't have tolerance for. And I'm going to be like, oh, please vote for Kamala. She's going to help you. Be okay, you guys, the crowd obviously was not there for VP Kamala Harris, but for Beyonce. And as you can see after the crowd was disappointed that Beyonce didn't perform and immediately started booing. It feels like I'm in a twilight zone the only presidentials elects to pick from our impeachment former president and a woman who is a first-generation American who locked up single mothers and black men, not to mention bragged about smoking weed I can go on and on. How she says she will not do anything for black folks, but as had Meg the Stallion and Beyonce perform who are clearly black and yet her blackness comes from Jamaica, which she never mentioned. She was born in America and grew up in Canada, never moved back to America until college, how can she relate? Then Mr. Obama grew up unlike any black American man and privileged in Indonesia and Hawaii, and he had a Kenyan father no black American and he can tell us to vote. Well you guys, that's all I have for today, I'm still trying to get monetized so I really appreciate all of you who tune in and are subscribed to the channel. As always, protect your peace, bye for now.